Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this beautiful 2020 Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive that we have for sale. I'm a big fan of the Tesla product. I own one myself. Mine looks very similar to this as far as you know color combos and features go, but mine's actually a standard range plus so this has some more extras that I'm a little bit envious about. Uh, so being a long range dual motor means it has a motor in the front and a motor in the back making it all wheel drive also makes it really fast that's like having two engines a zero to 60 a little over four seconds and uh, with electric vehicles there's no hesitation you have instant throttle response as soon as you hit the throttle no gear changes it's just neck snapping acceleration you can put a lot of purpose-built sports cars to shame in this uh all-wheel drive tesla sedan and being a long range you have a fully charged range of about 300 miles all right so much to talk about i'll try to make it quick but i could literally go on for hours about these teslas because they're just so different than gas cars i'm a career car guy i've been in the car business for over 20 years and uh, teslas are so completely different it's like an automotive breath of fresh air uh, the uh, amazing autopilot traffic where cruise control makes your life so much easier and stop and go traffic so many reasons and that's why you know i was convinced and i'm a tesla owner myself I also have gas cars, so I do have love for gas cars. I do also own an Infiniti product, but my daily commuter is a uh, Model 3, and uh, it's nice not going to the gas pump. I very rarely go to the gas pump now since I, I commute an electric vehicle. And the other thing is a service. You know, I had an older uh, Subaru, which I loved very much, but oh, the head gasket was going on it. I had to replace the catalytic converter. Um, I had to do a induction and EFI service in the engine to clear carbon out of the uh, fuel system. Um, I had to do so many repairs to that thing. All repairs that you're not going to have to deal with on this because it's uh, EV. I always had to top off the oil in my Subaru. It burned oil. This doesn't have oil in it. Uh, maintenance and repairs is very, very low. The only maintenance really is tires. You can you know, rotate the tires every 5,000 miles so you can get the longest life out of your tires. Uh, replacing wiper blades and replacing the cabin filter uh, and you know adding washer fluid all stuff that you can easily do but Tesla also has an amazing uh, mobile service app uh, you can just uh, go on your phone uh, in fact that's the only way to really service your Tesla is to use your app we'll pull uh, the app up right now I have my car on my app and I also have a corporate account I'm logged into my account so you can see <laughs> almost the same vehicle but like for service you just go to service and you tell them uh, what you want to do, request service, and then uh, you can message and pay for everything through the app. Uh, you know, wiper blades are like about $60, $70 through Tesla. And they actually came to my work, they came to the car dealership I worked at, into the parking lot and replaced the wiper blades for like $64. Likewise, when the cabin filter was coming to place, I sent a mobile repair person to come and replace the cabin filter and it was like $60, $70. In the parking lot, I didn't even have to go out there. They could unlock the vehicle, and then they messaged me, and I said, yes, charge it to my account, my credit card on file. So easy, so seamless. So uh, even though uh, Teslas do uh, require some maintenance and repairs, it's uh, very easy to deal with. I have a lot of experience in automotive service departments. I was in a major uh, European dealership uh, not too long ago to pick up a car that we had service there. I was just picking it up and giving them a check, but I had to wait like a half hour. Uh, they were just so busy. I was just sitting there, you know, patiently. And then about 20 minutes, a half hour, I was able to pay for the vehicle and get the keys. If it was Tesla, uh, there's often uh, the vehicle already has the key sitting it in the parking lot. It's all paid for. I just go find my car, unlock it with my app. They have the, the key, the credit card key locked in the vehicle. And then you can just drive away. So you don't even have to talk or deal with anyone. It's all through the app. So you can see uh, Tesla ownership uh, EV ownership is not just about saving money on gas. It's also, uh, you know, saving money on maintenance and having less maintenance. Okay. So you have this beautiful premium interior uh, with the long range. You have an upgraded stereo. I'm a little bit envious because uh, my standard range uh, and standard range plus uh, Model 3s or now they just call them rear wheel drive. They have the premium uh, sound system, but this has a full premium sound system of a subwoofer and the speaker here and the speaker here actually activated in the standard range and standard range plus these speakers aren't even connected i heard they can get a wiring kit to wire and connect them but that's just some subtle differences between you know a long range and a standard range or standard range plus you have this amazing parking camera 
with the over updates they're constant tesla's constantly giving over their updates sometimes on a monthly basis improving adding features this is a recent feature adding the uh, blind spot camera we have tesla's amazing supercharging network you can drive anywhere in the united states uh, with tesla's amazing supercharger that's why you know ford and gm have partnered up with tesla because they see they're just so far ahead they can't beat them so they might as well join them and they're going to start using uh, tesla uh, charging uh, standards now on their cars uh, it's almost like vhs and beta <laughs> betamax and it looks like tesla might be vhs as far as a uh, ev charging standard uh, and tesla has an amazing trip planner okay we only have 39 miles of range uh, but if you want to drive somewhere, like if I wanted to drive to, uh, let's say, Bellingham, I'm not going to make it to Bellingham uh, uh, on one charge, but the Tesla trip planner has your back. Even though I have 39 miles of range, it'll figure out where I need to stop the charge, how long the charge for, and uh, it has your back. So there's no mileage anxiety. I'll arrive into Quillo of 3%. I'll charge for 25 uh, for 25 minutes and then I'll have enough range to make it to my destination. So the te Tesla trip planner figures it all out. I can just go on and on. We have the amazing uh, audio system. Like I said, you can, uh, with uh, Tesla's premium connectivity, you can stream music. I love the streaming stations. Um, and then we also have uh, the cool video games. You can, when the vehicle's in park, you can watch Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus. And while the car's actually moving, you can do a karaoke dance party. So you can have karaoke, uh, in-car karaoke while you're driving, uh, video games. Then you have the toy box where you have the colorizer, uh, you know, you have the whoopee cushion, mm -hmm. favorite favorite of my uh, youngsters. You have the boom box where you can change the sound of the horn. You can make it sound like a, a fart or you can make it sound like a goat. And I'll show you some examples. Or the cucaracha. And there's a bunch of them. And you can also make it so you can talk through the horn. Hello there. Hello there. You can come over here. I don't bite. <laughs> a little bit creepy there. <laughs> but you get the point. You know, we can have you can have some fun with these cars. Nice, clean interior. Very comfortable seats. Tesla is actually one of the only uh, auto manufacturers that makes their seats in-house. A lot of uh, manufacturers, they outsource the construction of their seats. Uh, the seats are zero G. So, um, you know, they're very, very comfortable. Some of the most comfortable seats I've actually ever sat in. And believe me, I sit in lots of seats in cars. So we have this front right here, uh, no engine. So this is all space for additional storage. It's also a safety feature because with no engine here, you have a crumple zone that's 60% larger than a vehicle with a gasoline engine. So you have all this space here to absorb crush energy in a frontal collision. And that's part of the reason why the Model 3 is the safest vehicle on the road. <laughs> yes, don't take my word for it. Uh, the NHTSA, when they tested the Model 3, uh, by every metric, it uh, was tested as the safest vehicle. So uh, the Model 3 is the lowest probability of injury in a vehicle accident versus any other vehicle on the road, according to the NHTSA. Pretty amazing. Also a lot of trunk space here. You have a trunk that's generally larger uh, than a gas car. For instance, here there'd be an exhaust system or a gas tank, but you just have additional storage. I love the looks and lines of the Model 3. And you can probably notice every day you see more and more Tesla's on the road. Well, there's a reason for that. People are realizing they're awesome cars. It's kind of like the iPhone. When the first iPhone came out, you know, a few people had them, but by the time the i4 uh, the, sorry, the iPhone 4 came out, it seemed like everyone had them. And that's kind of like what's happening with Teslas. And, uh, you know, even uh, I might not feel quite as special <laughs> as I did a year ago when I was driving my Tesla. Now that there's that many more on the road, it's amazing how much a year it can make. But it just seems like it's almost doubled or tripled the amount of Teslas I see on the road. Uh, I still wouldn't really want to commute in any other vehicle. Um, I love it. Uh, it's an amazing vehicle. And, yeah. Come in, take it for a spin. I think you'll be very impressed yourself. And thanks for taking the time today to watch this video.